to make a YouTube logo is the topic of today's video. So if you're interested in that, make sure you watch the whole video because it's a really good method and a really good way of making a cool YouTube logo. I'm Tutorial Tucker and if you're new to the channel, please go and subscribe down below and hit the like button. I really do appreciate it guys and go and turn post notifications on because I'm making loads of videos like this and on useful softwares and just general tutorials which will help grow your YouTube channel. And yeah, I'm just really excited about the future of this channel so many more tutorials coming but anyway straight to the point i'm showing a really good method in today's video and basically i'll probably reveal this out of the earlier on in the video but i do recommend watching the whole video onwards uh because i go and reveal loads of kind of tricks for the video and other methods on uh, making the logo so yeah make sure you watch the whole video and enjoy so now i'm going to show you the awesome software which is going to allow you to create the intro and it's simply called photo p and i'll put a link down below uh to the website down below so what we're going to do is come to the website www.photop.com and you'll be greeted by this page here so you don't need an account which is really useful and yeah so let's get straight into so the first thing you want to do when coming to create your logo is go here and click new project simple like that create a new project and now up here make sure you set the width 900 by 900 now this is personal preference you can do like up to a thousand but if it's too big and sometimes some sites especially youtube don't allow you to upload it and then make sure it's set on pixels because uh, you've got millimeters and um, other other inches and loads of others so make sure it's on pixels and yeah background you can be white but you can do it transparent i don't have a transparent because it's just that's just how i normally have it so then once you've got these settings click on create and now it's loading up um, your your background. So this is it. So as you can see, this layer is locked. This is your base background to where you now add stuff on. So once you're here, the first thing you need to do is find a background for your profile picture. This is the first step I usually do because then with the background, you can go and decide what you're gonna do next. So simply go to Google. So what I usually do is search for a burst image, just like so. If I can type burst image and then go to images and simply scroll down to see when you kind of like so uh, I don't know what theme I'm going for so it may be a good idea for like a color theme but these images with sort of the lines going down into the middle I do quite like um, so I think I'll go for something like that um, so yeah I think I'm gonna go for this one just here the orange color is pretty cool now as you can see You've got your image here click on it to get full screen then come here right click on it and simply click save image as click that and now it will save it to your download so just save it as the normal word click save and now as you can see down here it's come and downloaded it to your computer now come back to photo p and it should be exact same simply come to file up here and click open uh just like so and now it's gonna go and load up your file so simply go back to your downloads folder and double click on it and now it's gonna upload it. so as you can see it's actually perfectly lined up for me which is really useful um, um, because it was actually 900 by 900 but yeah now you've got your image here and the first thing I'm gonna do is actually add a bit of blur I just prefer kind of blurring the image just a little bit and if you have used Photoshop this is literally the exact same it's so good so what you're gonna do is come to filter and simply go to blur and I normally use for this uh, Guzian I don't know how you say it Guzian blur Guzian um, but yeah click on that and now it's gonna load this up and as you can see as you drag it the more it blurs so that is way too much I just want like a tint of, of blur um, just so obviously that's nothing I just want a bit so you can tell it is sort of blurred and it takes a bit of focus away from the image so i'm going to go for seven click ok and you can do the preview which is useful um and click ok so now it's saved the blur now the next thing i'm going to go and add is some text i think that's pretty important right so what you want to do is click on the text tool and now it's going to bring it up and you can choose the font you want here so as you can see it's currently on um deja vu so i'm going to go for impact i think impact is a really good font now i'm not sure um if this uses your computer font so it doesn't use your computer fonts so this will only have the fonts which are on here so you've got impact um it hasn't got the strong one so if it hasn't got the font you want just keep scrolling till you find one you really like um there are so many here um so many different styles so i'm gonna go for i really want like a big bold font so yeah that's how you can choose fonts but i'm gonna go and make the text box now by clicking and you can change the size here so i recommend doing it a bit bigger because otherwise you're just gonna have to increase it anyway uh, so i'm gonna do 150 and simply put tt so i just have to really click at that and i'm gonna put tt just like so or i go for a single t actually um just like so but i may change that font so you can then highlight it this is actually an easy way to change the font um, I'm sort of still learning as I go, but yeah, uh, that's kind of cool actually. Um, so I might go for that, then click the, the tick here, just like Photoshop, then go back to the tool here, and you can drag it around just like so. So now I just want to increase the size quite a bit, and as you can see, mine's already on 300 and it's still pretty small. So I'm going to just go for a thousand and see how good that looks. Bit bigger maybe 1500 yeah perfect so that's the size of the font so to do that you simply just uh, i'll show you again so make sure i'm gonna put in the middle minute so you've got your 
your font here so click the highlight it just like so and then you can just type the number you want you, you can use the scroll um, but I find it easy just to type obviously it sort of limits you a bit so back to 1500 and enter and we're back here and it should still be centered actually I'm also gonna make that white because I think it will work better with the image um, or just see what other colors there are so we go for a red but I'm gonna maybe go for a, just an off-white actually actually I'll just go for white for now and see how it looks and then click the tick and boosh now we're here so you can add so many effects to this as well um so i'm gonna see, go and see what i could add to this so actually before i add anything else i think i'm gonna add a bit more to the image just so i know what i want the t to actually look like so all i'm gonna do is go down here and click on rectangle hold down with your mouse and go for ellipse and now i'm gonna click that and hold shift and you can drag and you get a perfect circle uh, just like so and as you can see it is filled in um, but you can remove the fill and add a stroke so if i do that and then you can go just for a normal fill like a color fill and you can increase the thickness just like so and you can make it thicker or thinner as you would like and i'm just gonna make that maybe a i might go for a black actually yeah i think that'll be cool um and you can change it obviously later on and then to, to have that bigger you need to go back to it by clicking the shape tool and you can simply adjust it just like so so yeah that's pretty much the main part of the circle um, but you can obviously add the shapes but I just wanted a circle because it's the logo design I'm going for and you can copy this if you want so then I'm going to find the uh, center point again just like so it's really useful it lines up at all the arrows and as you can see the T is actually under that so to do that you simply drag this down in the layers and now we're on top of it so yeah, now I've got the circle under the T. You can obviously change the color, which I may do in a minute. I'll just see how it looks um, in a couple of minutes. But anyway, I've now got the T. I'm going to add like a drop shadow and a stroke and loads of other cool stuff. If you don't know, a stroke is just really like an outline of the thing, but that's what it's called and in graphic design terms. So yeah, the first thing I'm going to go and add is the drop shadow because sometimes the drop shadow means you don't need the outline. So make the opacity 100 always. I always put the distance to zero because otherwise it just looks a bit odd. And then you can go and change it just like so. So as you can see, we're now making quite a cool logo, I think. Um, so you can add that you can change it how you want it's pretty laggy um, but it's pretty usable if you ask me considering it's free and now I actually add a gradient overlay to the T which make it look really cool so as you can see you can see sort of I'm going to change the um, opacity a bit actually more on drop shadow uh, what I want is gradient overlay and change the opacity on that just so it looks a bit more low key uh, like that and then you can add an inner glow which make it look really cool so make the opacity 100 again and put the spread on full and now it's going to look pretty cool if you ask me so yeah that's sort of the the main bit so i'm pretty happy with the t click ok and that's how it is currently looking so the the circle now needs a bit of adding to in my opinion so to do that come to the shape click it on the layer right click on it blending options like we did before and now you can add what you want to this so i'm gonna add a bit of a drop shadow to the circle um just so you can see that it is there to an extent now i may actually change that circle to more of a gray so you can see the t is over the circle um but yeah i think that's pretty cool actually just a normal one uh, the opacity is on full um yeah perfect so i'm gonna hit okay now actually to change the color it's easier to come in here and click color overlay and then you can change so i'm not gonna go for a red i think i'm gonna go for more of a i'm gonna see what it looks like actually as i drag down that is quite i want to go something to do with orange maybe uh just to sort of make it fit in the theme to an extent you know what i mean so that is quite cool actually so i think i might do something like that um yeah i'm pretty happy with that and then do okay here click okay here first and then you've got this image here so yeah that's sort of my finished logo you can rotate it and other stuff but i'm just going to keep it straight like that and to go and save it all you need to do is do file and then go and do save as you can save it as a psd if you're trying to edit in photoshop again or export and you can save it as a png or a jpeg these are the two main ones which are accepted onto youtube for that logo and yeah you click on that and you can save it to your pc um you can change the quality so i'm going to go for 100 and then click save and it's going to go and save as you can see it's just come down to my downloads folder and if i open it up there is my finished logo so yeah guys that is it then you go and upload that to youtube it's that simple so like an awesome logo i did this in just a couple minutes uh, well it's probably a bit longer than that but you know what i mean you can spend more time on it and make it better but yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have smash the like subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on and i'll catch you in the next one peace